Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to beat TA stage 100 normal. So for this stage, uh, I would recommend to use like this was the teams we'll be using, but instead of Rogue and the new guns, you can put them out, put in a Tessarin and put in a Spectra. Make sure you make secondary awakening your Spectra. And yeah. I'm still thinking. Yeah, you can put away the Beretta as well. And put in your Vertiheal. So these are the runes on my Vertiheal. You don't have to remove that much damage. You can put in uh, less damage as well. I have the Speed Lead. And go into the battle. I could have used my other Vertiheal, but... Make sure your Vertiheal goes last in the team. So you're going to use Spectre, the skill. And this stage is a hard one. This is going to be a hard one. Um, you're going to use the Lauren to reduce the intervals, and with the uh, Tessarin, you're going to make sure they have Oblivion. In this stage, you could lose easily in the beginning. Very will to help. Okay, my very heels like on Berserk, but work on the. Okay, let's make it more a little bit more realistic. Okay. I'm going to remove this very heal because I feel like that very heal is too berserk. Look at this rune. See, it's too strong. We're going to use my other very heal. I have two very heals. I feel like he was doing a lot of things. Look at this runes. This is the kind of very heal I was talking about. He has full revenge. You can build him like that as well. Look at his attack compared to the other one. He's not doing a lot that much damage. Also, a very heal should always, <clears throat> no matter what, always have 100% crit rate. To have the most effectiveness out of him. Like I said, that very heal was doing too much damage. I mean, we want to compare this, like, how to beat it. And if you put something that's over the top, you're going to see, your very heal was too broken. Go for the, uh, like I said, go for uh, the Junos. But you can build a triple revenge very heal. And the Spectra is not that broken. Once you kill one Juno, go for the next Juno. And try also to reduce the Anvil's attack bar if you can. Because they can do defense break and it's going to be crucial for you. So make sure the uh, Anvil's are not going to use skill 3 on you. Or you have immunity, then you're safe. Reduce here, attack power. This very hill is not going to close. You're not even close going to kill. You can use some defense break. Did nothing. He didn't crit. Go after this one. Put some oblivion. Or oh, cleanse, okay. I could have gone after Anvil. Oh, Revenge, nice. Reduce. It should be easy. Now the Anvils are left. <clears throat> Some people will say you kill the Anvils first, but if you can't, go, go after the Junos. Kill them one by one. Now you need to save your skills. I think the next one is Veramos, if I'm not wrong, Veramos and uh, Light Anubis, but I uh, Light uh, uh, Succubus, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's them. So for this stage, Veramos can cleanse, and he can he's going to be nasty. So try to kill the Veramos first, and also make sure you have immunity <coughs> before the Succubus took its turn. Because they're going to be nasty to you if you don't have immunity. Yeah. Ooh. Stop rocking. Okay, go after another one if it happens. Like that. And the very hero is going to push. Look, she's asleep. That's nasty. Make sure Oblivion sticks. Wrong skill. Happens. Mm. Yeah. 
if we had the Berserk Vertigo here, he would delete them all. And then later you can kill off the Succubus one by one. Make sure you control them, look at the tech bar before you attack. There's one or two left. If low HP one, then you go only with skill one. Uh, the boss, use skill one until the boss splits. Don't use it earlier. So you skill one, and when the boss splits, you can do your things. So there are going to be three colors, blue, red, and green. Uh, you see them also from the aura, okay? So the green is right now in the middle. What does blue do? Does blue reduce the damage, the damage she receives, uh, just reduce the damage she receives? The numbers you don't, you don't need to know. The red one <clears throat> attacks all enemies and provokes them and always counter attacks you when you attack her and removes one beneficial effect. Uh, the light, uh, the, light. <laughs> the green one, when you always attack her, she steals uh, 15, uh, I think 5%, <clears throat> steals 5% uh, attack bar from everybody and absorbs it. That's quite a lot. So use your Spectra to give them speed break, attack break. We landed everything. Skill 2 you shouldn't be wasting. So when you have no defense break and no oblivion, just use the on the light one. Uh, blue one. Uh, the blue one is the one that does not do anything when you attack. So right now you're waiting for the Tessarin. Tessarin is a need as a beginner. If you don't have Tessarin, build the Wind Abnubis. Oblivion is a need as a beginner to succeed it. So right now he can't attack. Now he won't counter attack again. Now you can go after him. If you don't have Oblivion, you can stun them as well. Stun, freeze are also very effective. Attack by reduction could be... If you don't reduce too much, uh, it's going to be backfiring to you. Right now, it can work because Lawrence attack by reduction is good enough. Try to avoid the other mods as well. And now you can kill them with Spectre one by the other. Okay. That's going to be it. Um, kill. Now it's left with her. She's going to absorb. Uh, if you had a Veramos, you could have automatically cleansed it as well. Now we are relying on... Uh, who's the most squishiest from all? We're relying on friend to cleanse everybody. Push the tech bar back so they get less turns. Lauren, do your thing. And the Spectre look at this damage. It does quite a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. That's it. So, you're going to push the tech bar. She's going to get her turns. Once the counter goes down, and you've already killed her two sisters, she's going to stun herself, and that's where you're going to do the most damage. And make sure she's not going to get any attack bar. And then you're going to kill her. You can push or we do the damage. You're going to be greedy at this point. Your decision to be greedy or pay, play a little bit safe. But she was already going to get a turn, so. I can show you the runes of <coughs> the Sarin and I can show you the runes of everybody, but it is nothing game breaking. So the next turn, she's going to defense, uh, stun herself, 
I think we're going to witness this because the blue, uh, uh, green one. We're going to witness that happening. Stun herself, and now you put a defense brick on. It's game over. She's not going to. She does not have any chance to push herself. And we have a lot of tech power reduction, a uh, tech power push, with very heal, and game over. And that's how you beat Tia Wei 100, the female boss. The male boss, we're going to do a video in the next cycle as well. Now we're going to take a look at the runes. She was on Violent Will, Speed, Defense, HP. This was even maxed. Tessarin, just some random mashup runes. Will, Speed here. This is even not a 6 star rune. Uh, crit rate. Accuracy. Okay. Look, crit rate 100%. Crit accuracy 100%. These runes are trash. But uh, it's good enough for the Tessarin. Spectra, a little bit a uh, accuracy, a little bit HP, some speed. Speed, crit rate, resistance. Weird. These runes are weird. Totally weird. Lots of improvement there. So meaning you could build a better Spectra. Just give him a little bit crit rate so he crits. That's it. You can build crit damage, then you will do more damage. Showing you that there was not even a good Spectra. It was a decent Spectra. The Verdi Heal, like I said, I didn't want to use my broken Verdi Heal, but the damage I did on the monster was quite a lot. I was like, oh, let me use my second Verdi Heal. This is the faster one. It's not matching to the team's energy, but he has the revenge in his build. It's quite decent. The speed is too much. You don't need that much speed. Crit rate, 100%. Then have attack and some HP. Or you can go tanky version. It can also work. Or the damage version. If you have the Tricower team, that very you can also work. Last but not by least, the Lauren OP unit. Have her accuracy. Look at the accuracy. 85% HP and speed. You can go violent at anything. So this one was even a rare rune uh, here. You don't need to have hero runes. You can use rare runes if they are 6 star. With the right main stats. Anyway, that's going to be the video. Thanks for watching and bye.